Rocky keep talking about whiskey and kicks. People, 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 what's up? It's Whiskey Wednesday and everybody knows that Whiskey Wednesday, Brocky tastes the booze. Lo, it's your boy Brocky, man, Whiskey and Kicks. We in the building. Um, let's do something a little special today. It's not so special, but it's special to me. Uh, I love a midwinter night nice dram. It's one of my favorites. One of my favorite whiskeys, man. Uh, this is an older iteration of this whiskey. This is Act 5, Scene 6, I believe, from um, maybe a few years ago, like 2018. 18, maybe? Um, anyway, but let's go ahead and pour this. And, um, you know, I don't know, man. All you, you guys out there talking about, if you let your whiskey sit there for a certain amount of time and this, that, and the third is going to happen to it. <sighs> you know pretty well with mine. Oh, all right, man. We're not even going to get to it yet. All right, so let's read a little bit, as we usually do. And then I found an old review by somebody online. So let's compare, because I know what my notes are with this whiskey. And even just nosing it just now, I picked up something just like that. But let's get to it. This is a very special whiskey for me. Um, a Midwinter Nice Dram is coming in at 98.6 proof. It is a product of High West. A distillery and I believe High West is out of Utah. Uh, let's see, High West, where, where are you guys at? You guys out of Utah? I believe so. Let me make sure. I believe High West is out of Utah, if I'm not uh, mistaken. But yeah, Park City, Utah. How about that? So, um, let's read a little bit about High West, about um, Midwinter Nights nice Dram in general. And then we'll get into this specific uh, uh, pour. Um, so, first thing they say is how to enjoy. We recommend that you enjoy this special spirit neat due to its many layers of complexity next to a warm fire as the snow piles up on the windowsill. It also pairs beautifully with fig cookies. I pick up fig in this whiskey. And they're right. The marketing on this whiskey is so amazing that... <laughs> I only sip it when it's cold out. I only sip it in the winter time. It's not really that cold. It's chilly now, but it's not even time yet. But I sip this when it's nice and chilly. I'm there. It's, it's the perfect whiskey for that time. I don't know what it is. Psychological thing, I guess. Um, named after A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare. Uh, let's see. I don't want to read a bunch of... Stuff that the ratio of whiskeys is top secret. Um, even on this other page that I found, they talk about what it is, but it doesn't say ratio stuff. Class and type, a blend of straight rye whiskeys finished in port and French oak barrels. It's a beautiful thing. 98.6 proof, as I said. 95% um, rye, 5% barley malt from MGP. 80% uh, rye, 20% um, malted rye from High West uh, Distillery. Um, and let's see, aged in new charred white American oak and finished in French oak barrels, as we kind of spoke to before. So the notes with this particular one on their website is for the what I believe is the latest is Act 6, Scene 1. Um, we have an older pour here um, that we're going to... We're going to read about. So I went to bourbonjedi.com. I got to give them credit. And ah, he said, and I think he's pretty on point with what he's talking about. A fruity floor. And let, let me say, no, not, let me not say that. I'll say that I identify with what he's speaking about. All right. Because whatever you identify is what you identify. And that's how we're going to do it. Nose, a fruity floral scent greets you dominated by cherries and roses with hints of potpourri, berries, molasses, and scosh of vanilla. The taste, dried fruit medley, raisins, apricots, cherries, along with herbs, and at the end, the rye spiciness. The taste is fruit forward, and the normal rye bite is considerably subdued right up until the end when it gives you a good zing. And he is a thousand percent correct in that. Um, but I pick up big time fig, which 
I guess you can say it's kind of like the dried fruit and whatnot is fig something like that. But fig has a more more complexity to it, other than just the dried fruit piece. But I'm thinking of fig Newton. That's what I pick up big time. I mean, this would be amazing with that. And uh, like they're right, man. Like the the dried. The fruit, the berries, the vanilla is there big time. The cherries is there big time. Roses, I'm not sure about the roses. But this is like, um, man, I just picked up big time blueberry just now. It's a beautiful expression. It's one of my absolute favorites. Um, you see how low this bottle is, but I've had it for a long time. Um, I am going to go out and get the newest, the newest one or whatever I can find. I'm, I'm going to get some more of this because I keep it on my shelf. This is my second bottle and it's time for a new one. I'm not a whiskey hunter like a lot of you guys. So I get whiskey when I want it um, or when I need it. And I'll say I need another bottle of this. So let's go ahead and taste this. Pause. I'm trying to tell you, listen, I don't even want to know if you like this and enjoy it as much as me. I want to hear from people who don't like a midwinter nice dram. I want to know why. Because a midwinter nice dram is some of the best whiskey I've ever had. I love it to death. This is amazing, man. It's just as amazing now as it was when I sipped it years ago. I've had this on my shelf for years. Jesus. I mean, exactly what he said too. Like you get the fruitiness, you get the, um, the vanilla and almost like a dessert kind of feel in this whiskey. And then all of a sudden at the end, you get a little bit of the heat, like the heat lingers. Because at the end of the day, it is dry. The heat lingers. It doesn't rip your chest apart. The heat doesn't just tear you apart like a regular rye would. It is beautiful. I mean, I can just drink this, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So yeah, special today because it's not a brand new whiskey that I haven't had. It's just something that I love and wanted to share with you guys. I've never reviewed this on, uh, I don't know, do we call these reviews? Are these reviews? It's my review. I'm doing the taste, I taste what I taste. I taste the whiskey and I'm sharing that experience with you guys. So maybe this is the whiskey experience. Is that what this is? Is this a tasting? I mean, I'm not traditional. Y'all know, you guys know me. I'm not traditional. I do things the way I do it. I'm sharing my experience. I'm not trying to be what everyone else is or try to do what everyone else is doing. Man. Get yourself a bottle of Midwinter Nice Dram. It is a beautiful expression of whiskey. I'm very curious about what the other expressions taste like. Um, so I'm going to go out and try to find a bottle of it and um we'll be reviewing that on the show too so until then this is we're trying to keep this under 10 minutes i'm getting close to 10 minutes right now i'm gonna edit some of this out but yeah we try to keep this under 10 minutes so this is your boy brocky man whiskey and kicks brocky taste the booze we out cheers brocky keep talking about whiskey and kicks